Well, so far we've gotten together just one time and they've had the tracks to listen to and the, and the charts I sent them to work on, but you can't put it together until you get together, so that's what today was. It's just to get the dialogue going, you know, kind of to see where we're coming from, you know, because it can't really do exactly what, you know, Dan and Bob did, and we can't do what Dan and Al did, it's Dan and Al and Bob, so right. yeah. giving this thing, you know, this birth, a chance to yeah. birth. Al and I kind of um, function in, in the same way. Or Dan, Dan. yeah, Dan. exactly. And so, when you have two people functioning the same way, you got to figure out ways to make it interesting, get out of each other's way, compliment each other, and I'm playing different instruments to help help that. Played the songs in different configurations with drums and bass and making them big and all that. But having two instruments that can add different uh, harmonizations to the melodic lines that I play on the guitar, and sp especially guys like this, you know, a guy that plays with the Detroit Symphony, and Bob, who's such a student of, uh, of music theory and, and a fine player, to have those guys both working together to make my song sound good is a premium and a bonus for me. On a November day. What's the intro on this? I think it's even different than the record now. practice was actually perfect for me too as I put together all of the video that will show up on the big screen. This is the story of Dennis Hale and the Daniel J. Morrell. So I'll go through all of my footage underwater stuff and even life raft pictures that we filmed in a recreation and we'll put those images on the background to kind of set the mood for what the concert's all about. It's one thing to hear a concert of maritime music. It's another thing to go to a lecture and hear somebody who's an expert talk about uh, shipwrecks on the Great Lakes but it's quite another. When the two come together, a lecture with a band, it's more than that. Having the two come together in an integrated, synergistic presentation of these amazing stories, it's spellbinding is what it is. One of the greatest thrills of a documentary producer is to work with a musician who will custom tailor all of the music right to the visuals that are on the screen. And that's where this partnership with Dan Hall and David O'Norris has come. Uh, Dan Hall and I have worked together since 1993 and we've done three visual concerts already. And quite honestly, they continue to evolve into something better. And we can't wait till the next one. It's off the hook. It's got me reignited about the whole maritime thing. And about my involvement in it and uh, I'm ready to, to write new songs and, and record the ones that uh, have not been recorded yet and make them available to people and I like to do this thing with, uh, with Mr. Mixter for a long time. Maybe build onto the band. Maybe, uh, maybe do Carnegie Hall.